All right, we're gonna do two more, okay? There's four total, because we wanna practice one of each type. Okay, the next one is a midpoint approximation for f of, that was a really dumb problem for me to do. Let's adjust this to 2x squared. 2x is a line, we don't need to estimate it with a, I was not thinking this morning when I wrote that. Um, so we're gonna go 2x squared with three subintervals on zero to 12. Okay, I was trying to get us something that where we could find a middle value, hopefully. I might not have done that very good. Let's see, we'll see how it goes. Okay, all right, so I've got x and f of x. I've got to go from 0 to 12. I've got to split it into thirds, okay? Um, so what's about a third of 12? 4, okay, and I'm leaving some space in there on purpose, okay? What would be another third to 12? 8 and then 12, right? When I have the midpoint, I want to use the distance in between on those, but my height has to be exactly in the middle. So I need the value that's exactly in the middle. Okay, and I might not, I might make this one a table problem so you don't have to do this part, but you're gonna have to be able to examine the table and find the height in the middle. Um, so what is exactly between zero and four? What would be the middle of that? Two, what about between four and eight? Six and between eight and 12? 10, perfect. So the y values that I need to find are just the 2, the 6, and the 10. Don't waste time doing the other ones, okay? All right, so let's see. 2 squared is what? 4 times 2 is 8. What's 6 squared? 36 times 2 is? Good. 10 squared is? 100 times 2? 200. And I may give you like, not a graphing calculator, but like an arithmetic calculator. So you can at least if you need to do arithmetic, you can. All right, so we're going to do an MRAM. I have three sub intervals. So how many plus signs? Two. Okay. Okay, I'm going to look again at the distance in between my green numbers, and I'm going to use the height of the blue number. So my first distance in between is how much? Four. My height is eight. My next distance in between is four. My height is... My next distance in between is four. My height is... So hopefully you've kind of noticed the pattern. If they give you an equation to work from, our distance in between is always the same. If we start with a table, it's probably not going to be the same, okay? All right, I'm gonna give you a minute. Put it into Desmos. I'm not gonna try to do that in my head. I don't trust myself to do that. So put it in Desmos. Okay, what did we get final answer? 1120. Everybody good? Yeah. Okay. All right, we got one 